Hi, I'm Dave Ulrich. I'm a partner at the RBL Group and a professor at the School of Business at the University of Michigan. With our colleagues, we are trying to figure out how do you begin to make change happen in a sustainable way. And as we've said, there's three levels of change. One key level is the institution. How do we change fundamentally the DNA or the culture of a company? This is not easy. One of the tools we've discovered is to try to say, how do we talk about and discuss what we call viruses in a company? Here's the metaphor. In every company, there are viruses. There are stuff, orthodoxies, ways of doing things, things we know that we don't even recognize that get in our way of being successful. And if we're going to manage change, we've got to find a way to talk about them. The best way for me to understand them and explain them is at a personal level. We've been married over 35 years. Every once in a while, my wife and I have to get away to speak about the unspeakables, the things we don't want to talk about. When we can talk about them, we can generally solve them. When we can't talk about them, they continue for on and on and on. The same is true in an organization. There are underlying viruses that get in our way. We have to find a way to talk about them. So we've created what we call a toolkit. It's a toolkit of viruses. And you can look at that and, and you can sit down with any line manager and say, how do we begin to get at rid of the things that get in our way of managing change? And the exercise is very simple. It's on page six of that toolkit. We've identified in the last 15 years about 36 or 37 things that get in our way. They exist in companies today. Every one of those items comes from a company. Let me uh, give you one that we found. Number 10, activity mania. We were in a company that liked to be busy. And everybody's badge of honor is, I'm busy, I'm busy, I'm busy. Well, what we suggest is you take this list you sit down and you say, of the 36, what are the top three to five? What are the things that get in our way? And then you collectively share that and you say, here are the three or four viruses that we have to manage. And then you talk about where did they come from? Why do we do them? How do we get rid of them? Our experience is really pretty simple. When you can talk about the things that get in our way, we can probably fix them. And one of the things we've discovered, a cool exercise, is we've said, draw a picture of that most common virus. Draw a flip chart. Post it in an office. Everybody will see it. And when we talk about it and see it and make it public, we can probably get rid of it. And that's what we're trying to do with the virus detector list. The same is true in a relationship. When my wife and I can talk about the issues we struggle with, and they're not horrible, we can probably get rid of them and begin to work better together. We wish you well in that exercise. Thank you.